Hi, my name is uh, Gordon Hans, president of MHL. I'm here in the MHL booth at uh, CES 2016. So one of the things that we're so excited about at CES this year is uh, the emergence of the 8K home theater ecosystem. So really, this is being driven by broadcasters who have a roadmap to deliver 8K content to viewers over the next four years. And as a standards organization, we felt that it was really important to get ahead of this trend. So last year, we announced the Super MHL standard that's really tailored for the needs of next generation home theater. So it includes capabilities such as support for 8K at up to 120 frames per second, a great color with 48-bit, wide color gamut, and HDR. We also support object audio. Uh, the ability to power accessories with up to 40 watts supplied from the TV to accessory devices. And we have a very simple uh, connector. So the connector is fully reversible. No matter which way the user plugs in the cable, the devices are going to work. And uh, this technology is really being showcased uh, on the TV that I have here. It's the latest TV from uh, LG, the Super UHD. It's 8K resolution and uh, fully enabled by uh, Super MHL technology. Uh, talking about Super MHL, I think it's also important to highlight that Super MHL is fully backwards compatible with our existing uh, MHL standard. And uh, as part of the show, we also announced that uh, we've surpassed 900 million uh, MHL devices in the marketplace. And uh, that's important because as the first Super MHL enabled devices uh, become available, you're going to be able to connect your existing uh, MHL products uh, to those. And, uh, those, those connections are really enabled by a whole ecosystem of connector and accessory partners uh, that enable you to hook up things like cell phones, tablets, uh, and other devices uh, to the big screen. And in fact, in the booth here, uh, we have two of uh, our adopters, uh, JCE and Connexa, who are displaying you know, some of their latest MHL and Super MHL products. So hopefully you've been excited by some of what I've talked about over the last minute or so. If you want to learn a little bit more, I encourage you to go to our website. It's www.mhltech.org. And with that, thanks for listening.